Hello again everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have for you, as you can see, a little roughy. So this Rough Rider is the 2181. Now that would have given the game away to some of you that you may know this one already, <laughs> I'm sure. It's quite popular. I've been waiting for this one for a couple of weeks. Um, got it via Heine Haynes and it's in Den and My Carter. Reason well presented in a basic cardboard box as the Rough Riders are. Okay, let's open this puppy up and Hold on, she's a warny, I know that for sure. There you go, look at that. I'll just pop this puppy out, hold on. There you go. Now, it's an unboxing, I haven't used this at all. Um, and this is my first Rough Rider to review. So that's uh, a first. There you go, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, first impressions, that's, that's nice. You like it? Look at the swedge on that, wow. Nice back spring. Good one. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. That's really nice. Okay. That's a love, this is my uh, one, no, second sway back, but I do love a sway back. Anyway, blade centering, absolutely down the middle. Um, bang on, which is always nice. Ha <laughs> uh, ha that which means therefore no blade rub just double check no but look at that what that is such a lovely warm cliff that is absolutely gorgeous i do love a good warm cliff i really do and i got a funny feeling this is going to be i'm going to use this for whittling this is going to be probably one of my main whittling knives um yeah um that's oh, she's good in hand as well oh, that's absolutely gorgeous i like that very much very very much so um sway back worn cliff blade as you can see uh flat grind in a satin finish which uh, prevents finger marks as you can probably see but look at that <laughs> look at that swedge absolutely gorgeous oh it's lovely swedge on that really is absolutely lovely my god that's gorgeous and look at this my carter look at this oh lovely covers on that all different layers my god that's lovely that is really nice oh yeah and you've got a full four finger on the handle it's very good in the hand very secure um no i like this i like this a lot i'm glad i got this um this has been a popular knife guys as you some of you may know already um, she's in the 440A stainless, uh, so therefore it's easy to maintain, you know. Um, but I, I, I like 440, there's nothing wrong with it, it's easy to sharpen. Uh, like I say, in the satin finish, okay. Um, she has got, for memory, yeah, half stop, she's got half stop, a little casso there. Um, little sharpening choil, which is a decent sharpening choil as well. Um, or a little kick rather, there's a very shallow kick um so that's that's all right that's not too bad but more importantly there is a half stop nice positive action yeah i like that that's nice she breaks up well pulls about i'd say a six and she breaks about a six and a six and a half well no probably about a six actually about yeah six so six and six guys okay um right so as you can probably see she got brass lines and very nice they are too look at that look at that what's this very nicely done guys is that gapping no uh so right that's just a back spring just a bit, little, little bit low that's all but that, i'd rather it lower than proud right um so look, if i pull this there you go absolutely flush Absolutely bang on. There you go, as I suspected. And look at that lock-up finish. Really nice and quite tight there, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Okay, so let's have a look inside her quickly. That's nice and clean. Clean as a whistle throughout. That's always good. Um, always good to know. The bolsters. Okay, so you've got triple ring bolsters in nickel silver. 
uh, traditional bolsters, but nicely done. Nicely done. There's no gapping. Um, good transitions. Nice and smooth. The pins in stainless steel, nice and flush, which is always good. That's <laughs> wicked, yeah. But these coverings, well, these coverings, they are absolutely lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Reminds me of my pool cue. Um, so what we've got here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven to eight layers, guys, of Macarta in black and blue. And I would like this in the green as well, because I love green. I like red, but I love green as well. But the blue and black is absolutely lovely. It really is. Really, really nice. And this is such a, it's a crazy price, guys. Absolutely silly price, but we'll get to that, okay? So, as you know, lovely denim micarta in X amount of layers. Um, really, really good, really nice. And then we've got the lined uh, lanyard, okay, in stainless steel, which is nicely done. Yeah, no chips or nothing like that around there. And the actual fit and finish overall is actually very good. Good hafting over the, overall in the, on the back spring. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm pretty impressed with that. Nice deep nail nick. Um, I like the Rough Rider stamp on the tang rather than the bolster. There you go. It's on there as well, the actual model number. It's just simple and stylish. Um, it's not overbearing. I, I just prefer it. So the fit and finish, I'd give this a very good, nearly, very good to nearly excellent it's that good i remember the price point guys it's it's uh it's quite cheap <laughs> so remember that the ergos excellent um i like swaybacks anyway so the ergos are excellent no hot spots to report home about okay so very good in the hands uh and no hot spots the cutting uh let's have a little look sharp out of the box what do you reckon uh let's get a bit of a paper hold on let's have a look is she sharp? We shall see. Yeah, she is. Oh yeah, she certainly is. <laughs> That's nice to know, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so she's sharp out of the box. So it's a super slicer. Uh, comparison knife for this knife. Well, another roughie. There you go, the coal miner, which is also a nice little knife. It got, it's got a little pen blade in there as well. Um, so that's, that's sort of similar length, similar weights and things like that, I'm guessing, by the looks of it. Uh, I, I've had that for a while now, about six months, so eight, nine months. I need to uh, review that, really. But anyway, the cutting length of this, uh, including the, ugh, if I, the actual cutting length, no, wait, let's go to there. You're talking two and three quarters of an inch, guys or seven centimeters, okay? Blade thickness is about, I'd say at the stock there, geez, that's nearly 2.8, 2.8 mil, something like that. Let's have a look at that. 2.6 mil, or 0.1 of an inch, okay? Yeah, it's quite a thick stock there. But it does, with the swedge, narrow out quite a lot here. And it's because it's got a flat grind, it's, it's you, you know what, That's that'd be fine. That's a good work. This is a great work knife. This will make for a great work knife. Um, anyway, overall length would be, I would say, about, let's have a look. Put, a, put that there and go there, yeah. I'd say that's about, one, two, three, four, six, six and seven eighths, okay? Or 17.5 centimeters, yeah? The closed is gonna be just under four, four inches, I guess. There you go. About a bit more there. The close is about three and seven eighths. Um, 90, that's about, I think, uh, 95, 97, 98 mil. Um, so just over nine and a half centimeters, okay. The weight on this is gonna be, find me, 88 grams, 90, it's quite heavy. She's, you know you got a knife in your hand. Um, okay, 83.8 grams and 2.95 ounces so just under three ounces 
Um, yeah, so there you go. What do I think of this knife? Uh, so, okay, this, for the price, it is well made. It really is well made, guys. It's a lovely, elegant design, actually. Um, lovely modern folder, lovely little slippy. Feels very good in the hand overall, like I said. UK legal, uh, which is always good, massive tick. Exceptional value for money at 27 pounds, or about $36. Um, which, <laughs> it's a silly price, it really is. Get one, it's that good, guys. It's really, really nice. If you're if you're going to be doing whittling, if you're going to be doing general EDC working, and or you like traditional knives, it'll be good as a, a gift for a birthday. Um, so I'd highly recommend this knife. I really would, and um, or as a collectible if if you if that's your thing. Okay, my star rating with this knife. Well, now. I know it's a rough rider, but you know what? I look at each and every knife. Now you could get some of these, you get variations. You might get occasionally um, a little bit gapping, things like that. But actually this is a good example. Um, and I would give this knife for the money, value for money, I'm taking it all into account. I will give this knife five out of five. Five out of five, it's that good. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'll be using this. <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys uh, all the links are going to be listed below as usual please show your support by giving us a like 